हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेज थ्री पार्टिकल्स आर फिक्स ऑन एन एक्स एक्सिस पार्टिकल वन ऑफ चार्ज क्यू वन इज एट एक्स इक्वल्स टू माइनस ए पार्टिकल टू ऑफ चार्ज क्यू टू इज एट एक्स इक्वल्स टू प्लस ए इफ देर नेट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स ऑन पार्टिकल थ्री ऑफ चार्ज प्लस कैपिटल क्यू इज टू बी जीरो वट मस्ट बी द रेशियो क्यू वन अपॉन क्यू टू वेन पार्टिकल थ्री इज एट एक्स इक्वल्स टू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव जीरो ए इन दिस क्वेश्चन द की कॉन्सेप्ट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स इस क्वेश्चन में थ्री पार्टिकल्स एक लाइन में है अलोंग एक्स एक्सिस वन पार्टिकल क्यू वन is placed at a distance of minus a from the origin another particle q2 of charge q2 is placed at a distance of positive a from the origin another particle 3 is placed at a distance of 0.75 a from the origin so the distance of particle 1 to 3 will be equal to a plus 0.75 a that is equal to 1.75 a and the distance between particle 3 and particle 2 will be a minus 0.75 a that is equal to 0.25 a the net force on particle 3 due to 1 will be equal to k q1 q3 upon distance between them that is 1.75 a whole square this equation ye equation hum elect coulomb's law of electrostatics se nikala hai humne similarly the force on particle 3 due to particle 2 will be equal to k charge on particle 2 and charge on particle 3 upon distance between them that is 0.25 a whole square is question mein hame given hai ki the net electrostatic force on particle 3 is zero so the net force that is f31 plus f32 will be equal to 0 now coming to the direction the force due to particle 1 on 3 will be in positive x direction and force due to particle 2 on particle 3 will be in negative x direction so on putting the direction F three one minus F one particle three due to two will be equal to zero. So force on particle three due to particle one will be equal to force due to particle three on particle three due to particle one two. Now putting values. So Q one Q three upon one point seven five. A whole square will be equal to charge on particle two upon charge on particle three upon zero point two five A whole square. Since the charge, so we can cancel the charge on particle three. Now Q one upon Q two is equal to one point seven five upon zero point two five whole square. so the ratio q1 upon q2 will be equal to 49 so the ratio that is q1 upon q2 is equal to 49 for which the net electrostatic force on particle 3 will be zero hope you understood it well best of luck